What's up everybody, it's your boy Shizzy here and I'm back with another video. Today we are going to be showing off the Videl DBFZ guide. Now this guide is going to have all of her buttons, specials, block strings, mix up options, O key options, etc, etc. So without further ado, let's get started. So to start off, Videl is basically a rush down slash mix up character with a lot of her specials being mix up tools to find ways to open up opponents. Now one of her unique factors is instead of a traditional reflect, she has a spa dodge that you can also cancel into a DP at will. Now with some characters, with one being a Dogohan, he has a Misenko that you could just reflect all of it, obviously. But with Videl on the other hand, if you try to spa dodge, you still get hit by a little bit of portion of the beam. So instead of spa dodging at all, you have to spa dodge, then still block some of the rest. Only for some characters though. Now you might be thinking, Shicey, why would I want to play a character with no effect? Where's the benefit? Now listen here, gamer. I didn't say it was a bad thing. Now watch. When someone tries to mash on you, you could just punish it and get a whole combo. See, pretty nice, right? Pretty nice, right? I'll go in depth with more of the spot dodge later, but for now, let's get on her buttons. So for starters, she has a regular 5-0, regular 2-0, regular 5m and if you hold back and press the medium button you actually get a 4l which you could use for mix up options you know she has a regular 2m right standard 5h 2h i don't think this 2h is good though for me because you don't really get much out of it you get a standard combo but i just think it's pretty terrible compared to other 2h's and you know she has a regular standard jumping l jumping medium jumping heavy you know what i'm saying she got all the basic tools so to start off her special, she actually has a great Sandman call on the ground if you do 5S. Standing special, she relies on a great Sandman. This goes full screen too, by the way. And it also blocks all key blasts. See? Blocks all key blasts. And yeah, it goes full screen. I think I think it's a pretty good move to do full screen just to catch the opponent off guard. You know, it jails. You can get a full block string out of that. I think it's pretty good to use during the neutral space when you're just on the ground, your opponent's just sitting there throwing out key blasts, you just throw out a Saiyan man, and boom, that's a free combo or a free turn. Next thing I want to cover is the air version of 5S, which you get a great Saiyan man called Diagonally. Now, unfortunately, this doesn't stop key blasts, so if you plan on doing it in the air, he gets smoked, and you do too. However, that doesn't mean the great Saiyan man is bad to use in the air, so you do get an eye for an ideal. He might not stop key blasts, but he does in fact stop super dash he even does it on reaction too so if you're ever in danger of somebody super dashing you just call out the great sand man and you do get a free combo so pretty sweet another variation of sandman will be 2s where he comes up and delivers a key blast that you could actually use during neutral to buy a turn since you know it jails now obviously you could use 2s in the air and if you do that, Great Sam will come from the top rope and actually give him the opponent a drop kick essentially? I don't know what it's called, but obviously you could jail this into vanish. Buy you a turn. Some of her other variations would be 2 3 6 l where if you do the full version, you do this. 2 3 6 m which gives you a little nice front flip, I guess, for mix ups. And 2 3 6 h which you do another heavy, it gives you a free command grab. Now if you do a little bit of the parts of 236L, you're actually safe on block. So you can actually use this as stagger a little bit if you have an assist up. Now obviously if you do the full version of it, you do the DP, which is not safe on block and you can get easily 2H for it. Now if you wanted to do the full version, I heavily advise you to have some assist behind you just so you can at least get a little bit of a mix up. A little tidbit with the medium version of this move, if you actually do it, you're actually plus five, so if your opponent tries to mash after they block this move, they will get punished. Now for the heavy version of this move, if you press the light, you could cancel it into the light version of the move. You could cancel it into a medium for the front flip mix. Or if you press the heavy button again, you get a command grab. You can also cancel the lights into a heavy command grab. Which I think is pretty sick too. Now for another special we have 6H, which you could actually cancel into her other specials. See, 2 3 6 light. You could do 2 3 6 m Or you could actually do 6H, 
into her command grab. Now another thing to note with 6H is that it's actually invulnerable to key blast. So if an opponent tries to throw key blast at you, you just go through it and get yourself a free combo. However, it is not invulnerable to beam. So if an opponent sees you try to 6H through the key blast, they could just adapt and just beam you right after. Now here's the funny thing. If you do her 6H in the corner with her assist, I'll just show you what happens. You go corner to corner pretty easily. Now obviously we went over this. You have a spot dodge. And if you press the special button one more time, you get a DP. Now if you do 214S, you get our actual DP without doing the spot dodge input. In the newest patch, they actually buff spot dodge so where you don't have to wait for an opponent to attack you in order to do the DP part. You can just do it by itself. I have a little infographic to show the difference between then and now. Now I think it's time to cover one of her most broken moves, which is 22L, 22M, and 22H. Now to start off with a 22L, you get a little front flip animation, which you could actually use to get a little combo if you do 2-3-6 L after that. Her 2-2-M, which you can super dash off of to get a full combo. And her 2-2-H, which I think is one of the most broken moves in this game, which you can use to get a full combo. Now with all these specials, you can actually cancel into another 2-2-X input. So, for instance, That's just me canceling a bunch of times. Now the thing to know with these moves, they're all safe on block. So if your opponent tries to mash on you with a button, you could just block it. I'll show you with 22H. You could just block right after. Her other command grabs include 214L, 214M, and obviously 214H. You see, if you do the regular 214H input, Sandman comes from above and attacks him. But if you hold it in the corner, you can get a little combo going. You can also do this input with 214M. Get you a little combo going. And obviously you can use all these moves in the air. Notice says move around neutral with Adele. You can use all the 2-2 inputs in the air. You could also use the command grab in the air, however, I would not advise you to do that since you are hella minus. And you could easily get blown up for doing it. So for starters, her super is, you have her level 1, which is actually an anti unit, so if your opponent tries to super dash, it'll more than likely catch their super dash. You know, you have her level 3. She also has another super where if you do 236 and then press the L2 button, she has a little parry, which is frame 1 by the way. So if your opponent tries to come up and mash on you, Sandman comes in, does a little dance. In a more recent patch, they actually changed it to where if you hit this super, it actually decreases the enemy's bar, which I think is pretty hilarious. They lose one whole bar. And yes, before you question it, you can actually do her DP into a level 1, just in case you don't want to get punished for anything. So, Which I think is still hilarious. Probably thinking, I finally got the to stop mashing. It's time for me to go in. Just to get hit with a level 1 super and lose all your bar. But with all that out the way, I think it's time for me to introduce y'all into some Videl combos. So for starters, you have your standard combo. But wait, if you press the medium button twice, you get an extra animation which you can use in the combo. For sliding knockdown, you would want to use a 5S into a 236M for a Saiyan Man call into the Videl Rush. And if you're running low on hit stun, I would advise you to use the EX Videl Rush because medium would just make the combo drop and light doesn't even give you a sliding knockdown. So if I do this, 
Notice how I dropped. See how I didn't get the sliding knockdown because I had too much hit stun when trying to use the medium version of Adult Rush. Now if I did the heavy version, I will get a sliding knockdown. See watch. See? If you do a 5H, you get another standard combo route. As you can end with 236M. And as you saw before with the 6H, you can actually get a combo off of it with an assist up. However, if you don't have any assist up and you want to combo with the 6H, then you would have to vanish. Or if you don't want to spend the bar to get the vanish confirmed with 6H, you can actually just do 6H into 236M, super dash, and you get your little combo. You can also cancel her specials in order to get a combo, so if I do this, you can do that in order to get a combo. However, I don't think this is really optimal since you can drop it in most cases and you don't really get that much damage off of it. So I would just rather super dash right after the 22H or 22M. And yes, if your opponent doesn't block Sandman on the ground, you can obviously get a combo off of it. And yes, if you're wondering, you can end her combos off of heavy command grab. So if I do this, I do another 2H, I can combo into an EX command grab and that will give me my sliding knockdown. In the corner you can also get sliding knockdown by calling a Sandman 5S into her light command grab. Now obviously you can call Sandman into a heavy version of the command grab. But, here's the catcher, if you do medium command grab, it will never connect, so don't try it. See? But there's always a way to just combo the medium command grab with an assist in order to get your knockdown. If you're on Icar and you want to just milk out extra damage, you can always just do. 2H. The medium Vidal Rush, the Sandman into another medium Vidal Rush, into level 3. However, if you already use your medium Vidal Rush yet you still want the sliding knockdown, you can always just do. You could do a whip, a light Vidal Rush into a Dragon Rush, but the timing is pretty strict on that, so you might want to lab that a little bit. Now one of the biggest aspects of Adele is her loop combos, which I'll give you an example right here. Now if you want to play Adele, it's not really a necessity to learn her loops, it's just basically how she gets all of her damage. So if you see a Adele player roaming around, just know that they are most likely going to be doing a lot and I mean a lot of this. Now if you do her loops in a specific order, you can actually go corner to corner and get a lot of damage off, which I'll show you right now. Look, that's a free 7k and level 3 setup all because I did the loops. Now there's a lot of variations of Videl loops that you could do, but honestly that last combo is probably my favorite to use just because of the corner carry and the amount of damage that you could bring to the table. For example, another variation of the loop will be...
Now you can actually do these loops in the corner too to get big damage off. Here's another variation of the corner loop combo. Now in one of the more recent patches, they actually changed her 2M, so now you can actually combo off a great Saiyan Man call, it's like this. And also you can get the loops off a of 5S great Saiyan Man call, like this. Now there's a whole lot of different combos and loops you can figure out with Videl, but the point is, try to find the ones that fit you the best. See me, I learned that mid-screen combo since I think it'll fit me the most, plus it does the most damage I would like, so I just go with that. But the point is to find one that fits you the most. Now that we've gone over her combos and loops and such, I think it's time to go over now her Oki and what to do after a knockdown. So let's say for instance you do a combo, right? You get your knockdown, what do you do here? Well, what I like to do is her JH, which it helps you cover all tech options, and it helps you bait reflect too. So if your opponent is thinking about reflecting on your pressure, you can just sit right in front of him and just wait for the reflect. Another example, just in case you want to up tech, you just get JH for it, and boom, there's your Oki. Now you might be thinking, Shiesty, why am I doing JH when I could just do jump in 2S? This covers all tech options, right? And unfortunately, my friend, it does not cover all tech options. And JH is actually better than jumping 2S. See, if I try to do a jump in 2S, you can get smoked for that. It doesn't really jail. But if I do a jump in heavy, the opponent doesn't really get to reflect there. You just have to hold it. Another little cheeky thing I like to do. So when my opponent's not expecting it, I do a little Vidal Rush Light into a little reset with a 2L. Don't do that all the time though, since you can get smoked for it if the opponent catches on. For miscreen options, you don't really get that much. If you're expecting your opponent to do a normal tech, you can just run up 2L. Or if you're not expecting anything, you're just expecting them to just delay wake up. You can call Saiyan man, get a little Oki going. A level 3 Oki is pretty basic. You can always get the run up meaty 2L. Or the run up overhead. Or to run up Dragon Rush. But what I like to do is, after my level 3 Yoki, I call this one the Mixed Rization Station. Shut out Majin Acolyte. Do a little run up, scare them. 2 2 H. They have to block the other way. That's what I like to do. Now remember, if they do end up blocking this, then you are plus on block. You're plus 5. So you could just do another mix-up. The only way to beat that Oki is if you jump, reflect, which can get you blown up by the way, or if you just 2H. Now that we've gone over her Oki setups, I think it's time to dive into a little bit more of the mix side of the things and what she could do in order to open up the opponent. Now I think Videl works best with beans and accessible high blocks on because if you had one of those you could do this. That's a free high and if you wanted to go low. You could fake a high and go low. Now what I think the one of the most broken things with Videl is that you saw how I went into the corner then right out with that beam assist. I think it's one of the most broken things ever. Even assist with a high amount of hit stun, which is why I think UIB beam is the best assist that works with that, since you know you can hide yourself with the beam, come out with a 2L. But be careful since it takes a lot of labbing to get it right. 
I've been playing Videl for like two whole years and I still can't even get the timing right, so. You know, it's gonna take a lot of labbing and a lot of work with a lot of different assists in order to get that one to work out. Or you can have another broken block string like this. Double overhead, left right mix up with a beam assist. Now you might be thinking, Shicey, why aren't you using 6H? Isn't that a great mix up tool? You'd be correct. 6H is your best friend. You cancel it to 2 2 H, cancel it to command grab, do it with assist. You can basically do 6H with anything you please. Just make sure if you're gonna do 6H into 2 2 something, just make sure you have an assist behind you since the opponent can always just 2H you for it. Another mix up tool that they added in the newest patch, and this might be my favorite mix up tool to mess with opponents, is if you do this. You do her 5LL and it gives you a tick throw. So say for instance you're in a corner, you get an overhead, right? You can just tick throw them right after. Be careful though, since the tick throw can get beaten by 2L and DP, so if you're gonna try to tick throw somebody with a 2L, just don't get shot. See? And now I'll show you guys some of my favorite Videl block strings in order to mix up opponents. Some solo mix options with Videl, you can obviously stagger with 2L, stagger with 5L. You obviously got the command grab tick throw. You can also do. You can do that, you're safe on. So you can just stagger forever until your opponent decides to finally mash. But what makes Videl so strong to me is she could just do 2 2 H whenever, which is just a free left right mix. And it's an overhead that you have to block. And obviously, you could just do 6 H whenever you feel like it into 2 2 H. Or command grab if your opponent is standing. Next, I'll go over her assist. Her A assist, Videl Rush, gives you a good amount of frame advantage on block. I basically use it for comboing with assist. Or, I use it for super dash with assist, because I'm toxic. Her next assist, a B assist, Ego Rush. It's very slow, but it gives you a lot of mix up opportunities with every character in the game. Like UI Goku, for example. You can also do shenanigans like this. And as always, the C assist, which tracks anywhere on the ground. Plus, it goes very high in the air, so if your opponent decides to jump in the air, but that will more than likely catch him. I think this is her best assist by far, but I also like the A assist a lot, so it depends on your type of usage. Next, I want to cover some miscellaneous things. When playing Videl, you might not notice it at first, but when you get, you know, down to playing her for a long time, you might experience some things that you might not notice before. For example, if you do her 2 2 H, you can actually put your opponent in the corner and get a cheap side switch off to delay it long enough. However, I think this is very unoptimal, but I think it's still cool regardless, so. You can also do this off of 2H if you delay the buttons long enough. If you have a lot of momentum off of comboing with your assist, you can actually side switch pretty easily. You can also level 1 into a combo and do another level 1 after it. Next, I want to talk about the team building with Videl and where you should play her at. 
she fits more in a mid slash anchor role of a team nowadays. Since you know if you're playing her point, you're gonna run into, you know, Gogeta 4, Lab Coat, you know, Vegeta Blue, Goku Blue. And you know, I don't really think Videl fits more in that role compared to mid slash anchor. With mid, you have a character that brings in good meter at point for Videl, and then boom, you're doing all this setup with Saiyan wasting a ton of bar, you know, using a lot of bars very efficiently. You got a good assist like Goku UIB or GTA in the back. You got a lot of meter. I think that's Videl's best position. I think mid or anchor. If you play at anchor, you know, you have Saiyan in the back. You probably have like six bars of meter. You know, you could do all this crazy stuff. Plus, I think she's a very good comeback character nowadays from what I experienced. But I think mid or anchor fits her very good nowadays. Overall, I think Videl is a very good character to play. And I think she's in a very good spot for where she is right now compared to when she dropped. You know, she was like the worst at the game. But now I think she's pretty formidable with some teams. And especially with some assists behind her, you know. If you're thinking about playing Videl, I would honestly think you should give it a try. Since, you know... Fidel is very cool, very solid. She has good mix up, not good neutral, but a lot of good setups, you know, setups with good assists and stuff like that. That's just my opinion, though, after playing Fidel for a long time. But uh, yeah, sub if you want more character guides, and uh, this has been Shiesty, and I'm out. Thank you for tuning in.